Man, I swear that every episode of Ahsoka that comes out, I feel like Filoni has hit another home run because it just keeps getting better and better. This episode, the, some of the cinematography in this episode is just, I mean, it's bordering on the, the edge of like iconic, even though it's just a TV show. And I know that sounds weird to say that, but it's it, it makes sense when you dive into what's going on here. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything before the fold here, but this is uh, your one and only warning that um, everything beyond this point is a spoiler. Um, I don't do spoiler free. I review the whole thing in its entirety. We talk all the things from the episode. So if you haven't watched it yet, make sure you watch it first. Or if you don't mind, you're good to go. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. We review this and lots of other shows, play video games, do lots of other things. Check out the playlist, join the channel, of course, as a member to get access to all those videos that you see up top, and join the Discord. Links are down below. Without further ado, 54321, we're going. The final spoiler alert. This is a heavily Ahsoka focused episode where it's all about her and her past. And I gotta say, if you've never seen The Clone Wars, it's okay. Because um, this is this is something the way they shot this scene was extremely poetic and it makes sense even if you haven't seen Clone Wars. But if you've seen Clone Wars, holy crap, does this memory sequence just slap on all levels? So essentially, when she fell off the cliff at the end of the last episode, you know, she fell into the ocean and 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 she's in this like memory state, you know, like she's basically in a coma at this point. And in this memory state, she meets up with Anakin as a younger version of himself. And during this episode, we, we see that encounter unfold as he repeats the message, live or die, live or die. And he starts taking her through this sequence of memories where she's going down. And, you know, the first one is her on a battlefield when she's still just a little, um, a little, a little snips. Um, and she's chasing off after Anakin in the middle of a battle sequence on some dusty planet. And there's clone troopers all around, death, destruction, you know, explosions. And they eventually reach a point where um, they're, they're in a sea of wounded soldiers in an infirmary, battlefield infirmary. And Ahsoka just basically sits down and, and comforts one of these soldiers. And... Meanwhile, Anakin's off doing something, and he comes back. He goes, it's time to go. we got to march on. And she's like, hang on a minute. Like, don't you feel this? Don't you feel this loss? And he's like, it doesn't matter what I feel. You know, this is war. We have to do what we have to do to survive. And she's like, this isn't what I signed up to train. This, is, this isn't what I signed up to be. I didn't sign up to be a soldier. I signed up to be a Jedi, you know. And he's like, well, in my master's time, the Jedi were defenders of the peace. But now we have to be soldiers if we want to survive. So I don't get the luxury of teaching you how to be a peacekeeping Jedi. I have to teach you how to survive a war. So that's the training you're getting. I can't change that. And it's a very brutal lesson as he then, like, runs off with the clone troopers and into the fray and leaves her to, like, either follow or die. And there's this sequence that happens. It's the first of several when he does this. But as she's watching Anakin run off into the, the red, dusty mist with, like, the blaster bolts and explosions and all the clone troopers, the scene flickers. And for just a brief second, you see Darth Vader strolling into the chaos. And it was like, oh, fuck, what did he just do? And that's not the only time he does it. <laughs> There's, she goes to, and, and by the way, the, whoever was the kid they got to play Ahsoka, man, so well done. Because the next, I'm getting emotional like in teary eyed just thinking about how cool this next sequence was. So the next one is, she's older now, and it's the Battle of Mandalore. And she's there, and she is just shredding with her lightsabers. And I so wanted to use, I really wanted to use, there's an image and if you've seen the episode, you'll know it. But I didn't. I, I wanted to use it for the thumbnail, but I stopped. But she does this whole sequence of like cutting through a bunch of, uh, um, you know, enemies, and and she gets to the end, and she comes up, and she's just in the dual lightsaber pose, looking off into the distance with like 
every all the chaos behind her and it's just like it's the it's the action pose of ahsoka with her two lightsabers and i geeked the fuck out guys like i totally was like i want to use that for the thumbnail but it would be way too spoilery for the you know an episode that's coming out same day so i chose something a little more um mundane with just chopper and jason because you know that's still it's still it doesn't spoil anything of the story to know that those two are together because we've seen them together in previous episodes um so that was intense and during this next sequence here like as she's going through this she's again seeing flashes of him as um Anakin and this time when they do it it's at the end of the Mandalore sequence he's like I don't remember this battle and she's like this is because this was when I was already had already left you and um she starts to press him and he's like you've learned nothing and he this time when he ignites his lightsaber, it's red instead of blue, and he turns around and he's got, you know, the contacts in, and he's all distorted his face, and he's all dark sidey. And they have this another battle sequence, and in that battle sequence, we get the, again the flash of Darth Vader in like the silhouette form. And also the way that they did this shot with like the the 2D shadowing. So you see the two of them in a lightsaber battle against a backdrop image, and they're just like shadowy figures with lightsabers. Holy crap! Visually, this just felt so well, and it's like a, I, I think this shows, you know, Filoni going back to the, like the Clone Wars roots because we saw a lot of epic stuff from the Clone Wars. So even though again you don't need to know any of the Clone Wars to understand what's happening here because she's flashing back to her time being, you know, um, Anakin's apprentice. If you've seen the Clone Wars, this whole sequence is like, yeah, we we've now you know we're seeing her journey again and it's so awesome to see it in this format so really well done there the the other storyline here is um Hera and um I forget the X-Wing pilot's name Carson you know they're looking for Ahsoka and Sabine and they don't find anything but they keep going over and finally Jason has a feeling and this is when we're reminded that this is um if, if you've seen Rebels, then this is where it helps. If you haven't seen Rebels, the name drop they give here uh, to... Is it Kalen? I always forget his name. But the name drop they give here to the Rebels character that is his father isn't going to mean anything. But essentially, if you've not seen Rebels, um, Jason's dad was like the guy who taught Ezra. And he was a Jedi. And uh, it's there's a lot more story there, but... Um, there's more Rebels references now, too, because this this whole sequence of them trying to figure out, you know, how do we, you know, where did they go? Where's Where are the bodies and everything else? And he feels something. He senses something. Jason does. And this leads them to find um, Ahsoka floating beneath the waves. And the sequence they have when she's coming back out of the dream into the waves, into the water, is really cool. Because the way that they filmed that with the pool filling up and her, you know, going under... And then actually already beaten under it was really well done. Um, Quick commercial break, everyone, to give a shout out to our first official guild officer, Bubblonia, as well as all of the guild champions, and of course, all of the members who help keep me on the air full time. To join as a member, simply click that join button below and pick your tier, but you can also support with super chats on any live stream or premiere, or super thanks on any upload or YouTube short. Don't forget the Discord. Let's get back to the video. Um, while else is going on, um, they've sent the fleet to get Hera and bring her and Carson back, and, and she's going to face a tribunal now because she's gone rogue, and the Senate is, is the Oversight Committee, whatever, for the New Republic is like, nope, you, you've reached the limit of what you're allowed to do. You're now being recalled back to see if we're stripping you of your title or not. And Senator Organa is like, I can't do anything for you because you have no proof of anything you're saying right now. There's no device. There's no Sabine. There's no Thrawn. There's no um, Ahsoka. You have nothing. You've took, taken a bunch of resources. You've got X-Wing X um, fighter pilots killed. Like, no, you're coming in for a tribunal trial. And as this is going on, you know, we get um, – we find Ahsoka – Ahsoka gets the, you know, she senses the memories of in the in the in the device that's been broken, and she realizes that Sabine has gone with them. And Hera goes off to deal with the fleet coming in, and and as this is going, um, Ahsoka realizes that maybe we have a last chance. She looks up into the sky and she sees the space whales, and she's like, oh, maybe there's another way to follow the route that they took to use the hyperspace routes because 
remembering back to the Rebels thing with how these space whales travel on, on hyperspace routes. Um, so there's this whole sequence that, again, is a huge, you know, Rebels thing where they fly up into space, it went to the atmosphere, excuse me, and there's there's basically Ahsoka asking the biggest whale of them all, you know, and she gets a sense that maybe it's possible, and so they fly the ship into the mouth of the whale, and Hera goes off to um, deal with the fleet and everything, and, and the fleet is there to arrest her, but um, they all witness the whales coming out, and everything that's going on, and so I think there's a sense, I guess we'll find out how this plays out in the next episode, but we get the sense that they're not actually going to arrest Hera after they've seen this now because they realize that, oh, there's something much bigger at work here. And then they watch the space whales jump into hyperspace. And... Okay, we've officially finished the first arc, which is, um, you know, everybody taking the jump to wherever Thrawn is. So now we're off to the second arc, which is going to be finding Sabine um, and etc. cetera. Um, Ah, I just, this is a 10 out of 10 episode for me. I think this is the best episode of the season so far. Uh, just the sequencing with young Ahsoka and, and Hayden Christensen back as Anakin Skywalker and the lightsaber fights, the lightsaber fights in this episode are so well done. And that entire sequence of young Ahsoka on the, the Battle of Mandalore, just one of the coolest things I've seen and for those of us who grew up with the Ahsoka Tano character, oh my god, does it feel amazing. So, loved it. Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Everybody will be back next week with more. Also covering lots of other shows, films, video games, and beyond. So check out all the playlists, daily streams at 11 a.m. Join as a member for the member videos. Join our Discord links are down below. Drop a super thanks if you want to support the videos. I'll see you next time, everybody. May the Force be with you.